everybody, welcome back to the Harmonica Barge. We're here on the boat. Uh, it's pretty hot, but calmed down a bit since last week, basically in a steel steel oven here, roasting away. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about bluegrass music, um, almost like a blagging guide. I'm, I'm going to make some more videos um, with some various techniques, but almost like a blagging it guide for harmonica players. I think if you're like me, you play blues harp mainly, um, with a bit of other stuff thrown in. Um, and you might want to go to a bluegrass session. Bluegrass got a lot of similarities to country music in many ways. Um, kind of gets a bit muddy. It's a bluegrass, Americana, old time, American folk. Oh, where does it all fit in? It's a little bit of a minefield. Essentially, bluegrass music, bearing in mind I'm, I was brought up in the middle of England, so um, I wasn't raised in Kentucky. That's my, my disclaimer, but I've sort of grown up with folk music and played around quite a lot of bluegrass sessions and festivals um, over in the UK. So, bluegrass music started in America in Kentucky, late 30s, um, and really by a guy called Bill Monroe. The band was Bill Monroe and his bluegrass boys. And what he wanted to do was take folk music, American folk music, to the stage. So almost to put it in a small band format as a show, very much of the musicians soloing over over the tunes and traditional songs. So originally it was just string instruments. Now I don't want to be too negative, but if you're of the some very traditional bluegrass musicians, don't necessarily feel there's a place for harmonica or even other instruments in a bluegrass format. So they like to keep it quite traditional. In some circles over here I found bluegrass, you know, so harmonica player, it's not not always friendly and welcoming. Um, not the case with a lot of sessions that I play and, and musicians that, that I know, but for some bluegrass musicians it can be quite quite traditional. So the harmonica tends to be a bit of a, an outlaw instrument in bluegrass. So with that in mind, you might want to approach the session a little bit cautiously. Um, I'm just going to use a track here. I'm playing with a harmonica in the key of D. So the track would be an A. A lot of bluegrass stuff in A, a lot of stuff in G. I'm playing in second position for argument's sake, it's kind of my default. Um, if you just take this track, this is a standard nine pound hammer, the track's called. You might come across this at a session. It's quite a popular one. Just waiting for my thing to load up. Let's see if you can hear this. Let's talk about the music a little bit there. Bass, doom, 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 doom. Bass playing on the beat. It's not too heavy. It's too heavy. For my side. For my side. But for my side. Harmonies, vocals, we've got mandolin, we've got banjo in there. Guitar. When the wheels won't go. Now if you came into this session, you've got say four or five musicians all really listening to each other, playing in their vibe, you come in. Now I'm not saying you're going to do that, but I have seen it many times at bluegrass sessions and I might have been guilty of this myself before in the past. If you come in just blazing your sort of blues stylings on the harmonica, um, you might not be that popular amongst the musicians. So I would say approach a little bit cautiously, just take a listen to the music, get in the groove, I'd say maybe underplay a little bit first. We're going to talk about techniques and ways to approach bluegrass. But for now, we're just kind of talking about blagging it. You've gone to a session, you don't know, let's say you don't know the melody. You know the key, someone's told you the key if you're lucky, or you've picked up your harp and gone, two draw, I've got an A, yeah, the note's an A. So you know you're in A. What you could do is play a little bit of rhythm on this. Let's do what the mandolin's doing. Oh, it's finished. Let's go back. So the mandolin's playing chops. The mandolin, you could say, is like a snare drum in bluegrass music. So we can play that with a with an A chord. Low end of the harmonica. Holes one, two, and three, drawing in on most basic chords. 
Nothing wrong with that. Um, to me, if you went and played that at a session, docking in and out, shows that you're listening to the rhythms of what's going on. You're playing something which is in style as well. You're not playing licks that don't really fit over the progression. So we're just playing a simple chog on the offbeat. Not really vocalising that. Um, you could do that if you want to do a t or a cut. You're trying to do it regularly. You could change that chug with the chords, but we're not going to go that much into the theory side of that. We're thinking about rhythm and just sort of blagging your way through it to join in, to be a part of it without getting in anyone's way. Now, the key thing about bluegrass music, people take breaks or solos. So over the progression, you'll notice they'll throw that to the banjo for a solo. Now, it's very much the etiquette of bluegrass. If someone's taking a solo, to lay down a bit, to create a bed for them to solo over. You might want to play a bit more minimally over that part, a little bit quieter. You can complement the solo, but you've got to know what you're doing if you're doing that. So just ducking out, playing a bit quieter, backing everything up. This is a chorus. Solos, mandolin. You can put doubles in if you So mainly on the off beat, slip a chord in on the beat as well if you like. Just going to slow that down a little bit for you. If I'm going to tap the beat. First I'm putting on the off beat. Simple chord holds one, two and three with a little bit of four. Can put a double in. Mix them up. Occasionally put one on the beat. You've got a little rhythm pattern going, you're sort of thinking like a mandolin player, uh, almost dangerous, or thinking like a drummer. Speed that up. We... Keeping the volume quite low, we're not treading on anyone's toes, remember, we've just entered the session. We don't want to make a high profile for ourselves, unless we're Charlie McCoy, then that's too. So we'll put that together with the truck. Great, so you get the idea, that's your introduction to Blag in a Bluegrass session. Um, my name's Ed Hopwood here on the boat on the harmonica barge. Please uh, click subscribe if you like the videos and I'll send you more. And I'll be back very soon with another Bluegrass video. Thanks very much. Bye.